cooking with plants and today I'm going to show you how to make an oil-free vegan mayonnaise. Let's get started. So for this recipe you're going to need a blender. I'm just using my small blender that I have and I filled it with some tofu, about 280 grams worth or about 10 ounces and I've just used some firm tofu today but you could use firm silken as well so up to you what you have on hand and if you do want a thicker mayonnaise I suggest you use the firm tofu if you like it a bit thinner then the silken tofu will be excellent too so to this I'm adding one tablespoon of lemon juice one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar one teaspoon of Dijon mustard one tablespoon of raw sugar salt and pepper to taste. I'm using one teaspoon of Celtic sea salt and one eighth of a teaspoon of white pepper. So this is now ready to blend. I've also got a couple of tablespoons of soy milk on hand as well just in case I want the texture a little bit um, creamier or smoother. So I'll just blend it first and see how I go with the texture. Okay, so I've been blending this for about a minute and gave it a bit of a shake up throughout and kept blending and this is the texture that I've got at the moment but I, I want this just a little bit thinner than that so I'm going to add in about half of this milk so a tablespoon's worth and then I'll just give it another blend for half a minute or so. Okay, so this is the texture after adding a tablespoon of soy milk and running it for another half a minute. Um, I'm going to add in the rest of the soy milk just to give it a slightly lighter texture. But um, if you'd like a thick mayo, then leave it at that. It's just whatever your personal preference is. Okay, so the final blend is done. It went for about another 30 seconds, so this is good to go. It's nice and smooth and silky. Yum. That looks good. So depending on the power of your blender, the size of the blender, and if you double or triple the quantity, then um, yeah, just adjust the texture however you like. But this is perfect for me. A little bit of a taste test. Um, it'll be great on a sandwich. I think I might have a salad sandwich for lunch or maybe even a burger with some mayo. Yummy. Mm. Yum, just a perfect mixture of spices. Really delicious, simple to make. Best of all, it has no added oil like a lot of the commercial bought mayonnaises. So really, really easy to make. Hope you enjoy this recipe. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do so, so I can share some more recipes with you. Share it with your friends and I'll see you for the next recipe. Bye bye.